so good afternoon all of you so uh, we are going to begin today's class and all uh, all you people are aware about this that soon we are going to uh, complete our term so up to 25th of this month we are going to cover everything so from that point of view let's talk today first of all about assignments so how many assignments do people have completed so far three Three. Okay, so, uh, next, I would like to. I think that I have told you up to six, but let it be uh, all assignments, remaining all assignments, so people are expected to complete and you submit it on the link which is provided to you for online as well as offline students. Everyone will upload that, but you keep the hard copy. If you have made a separate notebook for assignments that you have to keep with you, if you are not made, I think that many students have written in the same notebook. But henceforth, you just take care that for assignments, we people have separate notebook. But right now, it is okay if you are returning only one notebook, class notebook, that's fine. But you keep it with you, so it should not be that you lost it, you wrote it in rough notebook or somewhat like that. It has to be with you. Uh, so that twelve assignments, uh, all twelve assignments, you complete and you upload up to maybe twenty fifth of this month only. <coughs> Before that. Then uh, next we'll talk about ISC that is going to be uh, day after. Uh, so for that ISC, I would like to tell you what we people are going to have. So for online students, is it visible? Yes, so this ISC second is going to be of how many marks? 25 marks in that question first it is going to be based on MCQ. So MCQ additionally that has to be based on verbal ability okay. What is this verbal ability? Verbal ability will include everything that all grammar parts, you know, that competitive exams. So, that kind of questions will be there. Uh, fill in the blanks with articles, preposition, conjunction, change the voice, everything. Though we have not learned change the voice, even though verbal ability question may include these kind of things here. And that is going to be for five marks. So, first question is going to be for five marks. And this is tentative, okay? What I'm just saying, this is tentative schedule that I'm giving you. If you uh, maybe that is final, but if there is any change, I will convey this change on Telegram channel. So uh, if uh, additionally we are going to add something, or if there is any change in that pattern, then it will be conveyed on Telegram channel. Then question second that will be based on situational conversations. So what is this situational conversation? Simply that we are going to learn it today, dialogue writing, okay? And uh, uh, here you people will get two situations and you people have to write two dialogues. So for that you are going to have 10 marks here. So one dialogue will be for five marks. And then you people have question three here. This question third will be based on reading comprehension okay so what is this reading comprehension this will be as usual we people have uh, one unseen passage the people have to read that passage and answer the questions based on that so that will be reading comprehension and that you people have to do and that will be again for 10 marks so one passage will be given and uh, maybe 78 7 to 8 questions will be there that you people have to attempt it, that will be for 10 minutes. So, this way you people will have your ISC second for 25 marks. Any questions here about ISC? Sir, From online? Situational conversation, what is the dialogue? Uh, so, and minimum, five marks, sir. minimum 8 to 10 dialogues will be there in one dialogue. In situational conversation, minimum 8 to 10 dialogues you people are going to write. 8 to 10 dialogues, 8 to 10 responses, how are you, I am fine, so like this, this is one. So like this way, you are going to add, depending upon that situation, you are going to write. So don't count for numbers, 
uh, you should just think that you are going to develop that dialogue properly. Fine. So this is final, but if any change, any change can be in terms, if you are going to add some, uh, you know, uh, letters that unit number five is there, uh, writing practices first. If any letter like uh, inquiry letter, order letter or complaint letter will be there, in that case, I will convey you on Telegram channel. Notes, everything is provided in teaching diary. Have you checked it in teaching diary? So everything is there accordingly, you prepare it. And if there is still any questions, in that case, you people can ask me anytime uh, on uh, maybe phone also you can ask me or something. I will try to uh, clear it. So fine. So we have talked about assignment submission. Everyone take note of it that you are going to complete all assignments. You are going to uh, prepare for this ICCK. And important that we do not have any kind of theory exam. As people are going to have papers for maths or that mechanics or BCME. For that we do not have any theory exam of university so our evaluation will be of how many marks in the beginning we have done with teaching scheme and uh, examination scheme does anyone remember how many marks will be there for communication skills 25 50 50 marks okay for communication skills it will be for 50 marks but as i just told you there is no theory exam this 50 marks you people are going to have this isc for 25 marks you people will get and remaining that is your term work that will depend upon uh, your unit tests that will depend upon your submission of all 12 assignments that will depend upon your that midterm test your attendance, regular attendance, depending upon how much lecture, lectures you attended, based on all those things, you people are going to get remaining 24 marks. So this way, you people will get 50 marks out of whatever you are going to get it. Okay. So let's begin. Today we are going to go through unit number three. That is conversation, situational conversations. So if you think about unit number two, I think that we have just orally discussed or the way we, we could not give time in fact for unit number two, it was about vocabulary and in that we were having synonyms and antonyms, prefix and suffix. Uh, but notes are there, you just go through all these notes and again if you have not understood anything or if there is any question, in that case also people can ask me, sir we are not getting this vocabulary. I don't think that there is a way uh, we can spend more time because it's short of time up to 15, 25th of this month. So hardly one or two more lectures we do. Two, three, four lectures maximum we people will get for this. And within that four lectures, we are just focusing on this unit number three, unit number four. Uh, again, four we are not going to do, do it because uh, four is about reading comprehension, we just discussed. And for that also one or two slides we will talk about and practice we will do for one or two questions that's all and we will focus on unit number five that will be again writing practices which is very important so uh, you, you want to write something as far as when you people will start working job so there you people are expected to write some uh, letters maybe some uh, this kind of documentation processes that in that case it is going to help you there. So we'll work on that also. So let's begin today with this unit number three. So unit number three, it is about situation conversation or it is oral communication in fact. And in that we are going to talk about, so it's okay I told, if you have written class notebook assignments in class notebooks that's fine there is no need you can continue with that in oral communication okay. uh, as we in the beginning we people have thought when it comes of language so in language there we consider these four aspects or four skills <laughs> which four skills that those four skills first of all there is uh, uh, listening Then we people have thought of speaking, 
then we think of reading and then at the end writing okay so this way you people have to give equal importance to all four skills it may be any language but as far as <coughs> our profession is concerned we people are going to just think on english language because uh, when you complete your graduation <coughs> you people are going to start working somewhere in any of the companies so that time you people are expected to use english maybe right now you people have lots of difficulties for english english communication when maybe you want to speak it but you are not able to speak it or there are lots of thoughts and ideas in your mind but you are not able to speak about them in that case it's okay but if you want to get command over this the people have to give equal importance to all these four skills and let's begin with this listening maybe all you people are just doing something uh, audio video lectures maybe some talks shows interviews etc you people are expected to listen and try to understand that there is no difficulty when you are listening english the people don't have difficulty as far as you are getting everything okay uh, then let's come here for speaking that we are going to focus here in situation conversation or in oral communication because uh, not all communication we are doing only through listening or through maybe uh, reading or something like this okay we need to uh, just work on all these four skills anything wrong with spelling over to like everyone hmm. so uh, for reading and writing for reading you need to take on your own read something newspaper i would recommend you people can read newspapers though it is not there or there is no any exam also but still you people can start reading newspapers stories blogs whatever you are getting in maybe on internet you people can start read it try to understand it this way you people improve your reading for writing start writing also not your assignments journals notebooks etc apart from this you need to write that uh, how was your today then maybe you can start writing diaries maybe you can think of writing one paragraph every day for example today you just visited the college so how was your day or you can write one paragraph about your college about your village about your friend about any uh, maybe machine technology etc start writing and that should be spontaneous writing means that writing on your own not copying from friends notebook not copying from notes uh, maybe from internet from somewhere on your own you just try to write something so that way and here i would like to focus now that is speaking so when we use language it is not always that you have to speak or not always you have to write there is a mixture of writing and speaking but maximum time we people spend that is in speaking if you compare it with your mother tongue uh, you can understand that uh, many times we are just listening or speaking either we are speaking or we are listening that is only two roles we perform maximum and then uh, maybe occasionally we write or occasionally we read same here for english also you are going to spend a lot of time in speaking and listening at your workplace maybe your uh, colleagues are there your boss is there they are going to tell you something you are going to tell them something like this so speaking is very much important and i just told you that you people have difficulty here only for listening you don't have difficulty for reading you don't have difficulty for writing also you don't have difficulty but major problem many of the student maximum student they face that is for speaking and why does it happen kaotha sir so we are communicating with each other in marathi only we are not using english at all so if you remember since you started or you just started learning english you will come to know that you people are not using english at all you are using mother tongue only because we feel very comfortable whatever the thoughts and ideas we people have we express them in marathi only and we find it better and so therefore that speaking has become a problem for us how to improve this problem what to do there so you should start speaking with your friends with anybody with your teachers not anybody because anybody may not understand english with your friends Uh, from your class those who understand english with your teachers uh, maybe with someone who can communicate in english you start speaking english that will help you and you know that if you want to learn any skill if you want to master any skill how you can master any skill 
how we can master any skill. Practice of the skill. That is the only way you can master a skill. That is practice. Okay. And you just ask yourself, am I practicing this? If you say yes, then if, of course there is going to be improvement. And if there is no practice at all, you are going to remain as it is. How you are today? You understand English by listening. You understand English by reading. You understand English by uh, maybe writing also. But when it comes of speaking, few people are going to into trouble and you know that selection process for job uh, group discussion interview so this process where you have to speak only there is no any uh, alternative option that uh, for interview you don't have writing exam there there you have to speak so all you just start working don't take it as a subject take it as a skill start to work on it find out what are the problems difficulties that you are facing and uh, start work on them try to find out solution practice it for hours and hours then only you people can speak it okay uh, then let's come to the point here situational conversation is the part which deals with your speaking ability and therefore we need to think of it so let's go for the next slide for online student is the next slide visible no, no sir. Sir. Fine. So now pay attention. So here you will come to know. First of all, what is this situational conversation? Situational conversation is nothing but it is a dialogue. Okay. And when we think of dialogue, you will come to know dialogue is a conversation between two or more people in a variety of situations so for a dialogue minimum two people are required die means two if you have studied in science die means two log means conversation so conversation between minimum two maximum can be more than two okay so that again in a variety of situations so what is this variety of situations in our day-to-day -day life you know that we come across with number of people so in the morning we come across with maybe some members of our family uh, when you come to college uh, there are many friends from our class we meet them and maybe in the evening you go to the market maybe you go for shopping you may go for a number of things so we come across with variety of situations where we people are expected to communicate and accordingly we people are going to develop this conversation that uh, what one is going to say for example you can imagine a situation that you are in the market okay and maybe you are in the shop okay you are in a shop and you wanted to buy a new mobile in that case what and how conversation will start can anybody tell me a situation as you mobile to dukana madhe gelo mobile navin vikat ghyaycha ma ki ek situation asel so what will happen there you can imagine two characters, two persons here. You can name there, or you can use A, B also, but preferably give names. So, no, 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 Chinto will do something like this. Then it will be okay. Kai will suggest Rotel Kai or Maybe normal situation with the character, Jelo, Dukanama, the mobile, the glow model over a particular. No. So this way it may happen, but here we are not going this way because here we are learning it in a, a formal way. So a formal way is either. But first of all, here you people have to think about though you are there, you people have to think about the greetings. Okay. Greetings. Like greetings. Hello, good morning. Yes, depending upon the time of the day. If you are in the morning, you will say good morning. Depending upon the time, if it is afternoon, it will be good afternoon. If it is evening, it will be good evening. Okay. And when do we use good night? So when we uh, meet people up to 12, we people use good morning. In the afternoon, up to maybe 3, 4 o'clock, we people use good afternoon. Evening, we people use afterwards four, five o'clock. So when to use good good night? 
express them we share with our friends you know that whenever we meet with our friends so uh, what are the topics of gossips what are the topics there are infinite topics we cannot limit them in just so we begin with let's say study we we'll go to uh, sports we we'll go to movies we we'll go to politics we we'll go to economics we we'll go to maybe uh, family affairs we we'll go for Uh, current affairs and then maybe some secrets and what not and what not so there are so many things that uh, we people want to share with our friends so here you people will help to express your ideas and thoughts constructively when you people will learn to write dialogue in fact it is not expected to write okay here we are not expected to write rather than you people take a situation and try to talk with each other in english that is the actually aim of this uh, unit here proper dialogue writing needs skill and command over the language i just told you this is also skill dialogue writing or presenting the dialogue this is also skill and with practice only you people can master this skill and you people can become fluent speaker so maybe today you are not able to utter a single word or single sentence but with practice tomorrow maybe after one month maybe after one year also you people can become fluent speaker of english and you may not have any difficulties So let's go to the next slide. You'll come to know. That uh, steps in writing a dialogue. So what you can follow, which steps you can follow. I just told you it begins with the greetings. So, but before going to greetings, the people need to think the situation which is given to you, whether that situation is formal situation or informal situation. So what is formal situation? What is formal situation? In an official meeting. Yes, that's right. When uh, you are in official, maybe with your teachers, maybe in the office, in the bank, in the anywhere you people have to follow certain rules maybe uh, certain time bound maybe topic bound language bound communication will be formal communication that situation is a formal situation okay so if the situation is formal situation in that case you people have to use greetings like good morning good afternoon good evening okay so that you just remember and if the situation is informal in informal situations you can use the same good morning good afternoon good evening you can use it in informal situations also apart from that you can say hi hello hey so these are also greetings that you people can use when you meet to your friends family members relatives neighbors etc with them you people can use these greetings okay then uh, let's go to the next slide those who are not able to write with here you just think that all these notes are there in teaching diary okay so the notes are there from that only ppts are here so don't expect that ppts are different notes and ppts are same then uh, next uh, another step is development of dialogue so what is development of dialogue here now now here you people have to think which situation is given to you after greetings कुठली सिच्युएशन कुठल्या सिच्युएशन वरती डायलॉग डेव्हलप करायचं दॅट यू पीपल हॅव टू कीप इन युअर माइंड 
then only two people will be able to think of it. So situation can be like this that you are in office, you are submitting your scholarship form, opening a new bank account, it can be two friends talking about timetable, two friends talking about exam, two friends talking about vacations, two friends talking about maybe number of topics can be there. So the situation you need to understand first of all this and if you have clear understanding of what situation is given then you go for this development of dialogue the dialogue should read like a spontaneous real conversation so it should not like that somehow you are stretching you are trying to bring some words together you are trying to write some sentences together but uh, it does not sound natural your communication uh, that your writing does not sound good so in that case you people uh, may not be able to express it clearly. So uh, the way we people meet and talk with our friends. The way we people meet and talk with our friends. The way we people meet and talk with our friends. The way we people similarly you people can just try to present your thoughts and ideas. So spontaneous means that it should like uh, coming out naturally, okay, not artificial. Include questions with proper question marks, exclamations with proper exclamation marks, etc. So that the dialogue sounds real. So here you just think when it comes of writing, so that time you people have to take care of two, three things. First of all, you have to think of the spellings of words. Okay, spelling. What happens? We know the uh, meaning of the word. We can read it also. But when it comes of writing, there are so many words that we are not able to write their uh, correct spelling. So check that whatever you are writing, your spelling is not going wrong. Second thing you people have to think about that is its punctuation marks. So which are punctuation marks? All punctuation marks. While writing you just need to take care of these punctuation marks. Uh, full stop, comma single inverted comma, double inverted comma, question mark, uh, exclamatory mark, uh, colon, semicolon, okay, hyper dash. So these are some of the punctuation marks that you people have to use accurately. Then at third, you people have to take care that will be of grammar or sentence, I will say sentences. So when you are going to use grammar, it has to be correct. What are sentences that you are making? Grammatically, these sentences should be accurate and correct. There should not be any mistake. So all those things, three things you people remember when you are writing. So uh, it refers question marks. If you are making a question and at the end, if there is full stop, that will not sound a question. If there is question, it has to be question mark. If it is exclamatory, if it's exclamation, it has to be with exclamatory mark. So that what will happen? The dialogue will sound real. Use correct expressions like excuse me, sorry, thank you, please, may I know, etc. to show polite inquiries and responses. So that will help you. Otherwise, see. Uh, if your talk it is going to sound arrogant, in that case, it may not be okay. So if you word, use words like excuse me. So excuse me has to be used whenever you people are just thinking of, uh, you know, you wanted to attract the attention of someone or you wanted to ask some person who may not be uh, looking at you, but uh, he might be busy with his work. In such case, you can say, excuse me, sir, like this, okay? So remember, many people pronounce it that, excuse me. That is not excuse me, it has to be X. So the word X, if you're able to pronounce X, so that is pronunciation here, excuse me. And it should not be, excuse me. So if you will, you'll come to know many people say, excuse me, that is not yes, that is X, okay? Excuse me then sorry so you know that as we people are human beings uh, somewhere sometimes we make mistakes and uh, there is no any uh, wrong thing in accepting our own mistakes so whenever you are going to realize your mistakes you can accept it by saying sorry so you can use the word sorry frequently it has to be used thank you again uh, whenever we people just are together many people help us uh, they do some good things for us they do favor to us in such case, we do not forget to say thank you to them. So, you people have to use again and again. So whenever you people realize 
the word thank you has to be used in your communication in your dialogue as well please whenever you want to become polite okay so when you want to become polite so that time you people have to use this word please because that will make a request okay so you know that many people they don't understand how to use language english language and suppose that you wanted to call someone many people just simply say uh, come here okay so if it is come here and please come here there is a lot of difference if you are going to say just come here it is a kind of order okay so you cannot say somebody usually the person is maybe elder person or maybe senior person uh, you people have to use words very carefully so you can use please come here that becomes polite okay uh then next is may i know so some information that you want to ask or see or just wanted to uh, know something so may i know how to do this may i know what is time may i know where to go may i know what is the next meeting when is the next meeting so like this you can ask questions with may i know okay so this way you can develop your dialogue that has to be as per the given situation okay then uh, here we are with the next step and this step is closing sentences now here you are going to close your dialogue now here you are going to close your dialogue and here you should use some closing sentences as per the situation again okay? dialogue should end with proper sentences depending on whether the situation is formal or informal so while closing also you people have to think whether you are going to close it formally or informally and if it is formal you people can use the sentences like this that we people i think that usually we people use the sentences like this good day to you have a nice day have a great day so these are the some words we people use thank you very much for your help it was a pleasure talking to you nice to meet you so these were the some of the sentences that the people can use to close your dialogue in which situation in formal situation and if the situation is informal in that case you people can use the words like take care see you tomorrow see you by uh, see you soon okay so these are the some of the expressions you can find more also these are some so this way you people can close your dialogue so here only three steps we learn first step what was first step first step in writing a dialogue greetings greetings okay everyone pay attention greetings so you have to greet the person as per the time of the day and as per the situation formal or informal if it is formal good morning good afternoon good evening if it is informal okay hi hello then development of dialogue see what the situation is given the situation is always mentioned here in the question you just need to understand it and accordingly we develop eight to ten dialogues of that situation then the next step comes that is of closing sentences and sentences also you need to close as per the situation if the formal situation is there in that case you people can use this words like good day to you have a nice day thank you very much for your help uh, nice to talk to you it was a pleasure talking to you it was a, uh, or have a great day something like this and if the informal situation is there take care goodbye see you tomorrow something like this see you soon bye etc these you people can use so uh, any questions here online students any questions कोणाला काही विचारायचं कोणाला काही कळत नाही असं नो क्वेश्चन हिअर इन ऑफलाईन एनी क्वेश्चन नो क्वेश्चन फाईन सो let's go to the next slide the people will see one example which is given here and that will help you to understand how we people can write a dialogue okay so we'll come to know
the situation first of all the question or situation is between two friends about how they plan to spend their vacation okay so so this is the situation so when two students meet they will just discuss about what their plan plan of what plan of spending their vacation so see how it began so here a and b is given rather than a and b you people can use names it can be any names you people can use as per your uh, choice you can take any two names so here it begins with greeting hey so here this is informal situation what kind of situation is it is informal situation so informal greetings can be used hey hi hello anything that can be used how was the last paper see the question asked at the end there is question mark also and here everything is imaginary it depends upon your imagination and imagination varies from person to person because my imagination is different and maybe your imagination is going to be different again so what thoughts i used here these all thoughts may not be the same for all people they can be different thoughts so you can begin in different way also so it may be like hi how are you that is also well uh, to begin any kind of dialogue if it is informal you can say hi how are you i'm fine what about you so this is a common beginning of dialogue you people can use in which situation informal situation here it is not used but i will suggest you in if the situation is in informal you can begin hi then then that next person may ask hi how are you i'm fine thank you what about you that you people can use then reply to this a's statement by b is like this b says the paper was very easy i am now excited for the vacation so your response should come as per the situation why because in situation you people ask plan to spend their vacation so the response of b coming here that is excited for vacations this way you should learn how to develop the situation the next again there is a a says it seems you already have some plans for the vacation so why and how because you know that he says as i am excited for the vacations based on his excitement that a asks it seems you already have some plans for vacation then b says actually we have already decided to go to mahabaleshwar for this vacation so he he told his plan okay what is his plan they wanted to spend their vacation at mahabaleshwar so something like that is spoke and again he is asking further what what about you what is your plan of vacation that is asked okay then a says that's great what's great that your plan to go mahabaleshwar is great that's great we are planning to go to our native place this vacation i really miss my childhood days there and then a telling his plan so what is a's plan spending this vacation at his native place okay so like this and additionally he is also mentioning that missing my childhood days there okay then b says it's awesome what is awesome spending vacation at native place that is awesome feeling that nostalgia again in life would be a thrilling and different experience altogether so what is this that nostalgia means what what is meaning of nostalgia so you are having strong emotions for some uh, maybe past things persons place etc there is nostalgia vyaktati goshin badal je apla bhavna astat the strong attachment astat that is nostalgia okay so that nostalgia again in life would be thrilling and different experience altogether then a is very true what is very true that feeling that nostalgia again in life would be a thrilling and different because here you need to connect there should be a sequence logical sequence of your thoughts and sentences that you are presenting you cannot write randomly any sentences one after another as a dialogue that you people have to 
think here so very true i am also excited to experience that nostalgia enjoy then see you and then here is the closing dialogue that says same to you dear see you okay this is one example which is given to you as you people can uh, develop maybe uh, the same dialogue you don't take to whatever given here you can just start thinking in your own way and you people can think of something else okay so same situation right now you have to think differently situation is what two friends about their I'm talking about their plan to spend their vacation now you have to think you have to write the same dialogue in your own words as per your imagination don mitra bhetla nantar tana vacation cha plan karaycha mag te kay kay charcha karu shakti are able to write lita ilka okay you try it later we don't have time so you can try the same or i will give one more situation that you people can try like this between a customer and bank manager about opening a new account okay so here is what one is a customer and one is a bank manager and the person want to open a bank account new bank account in the bank so what may happen there that a dialogue will check that open mode is time over how much time is left so it's again you just note down this situation and write it so you note down this situation and write the dialogue maybe in the evening you can try writing about how and what you can write okay so any doubts here then let's go to the next slide i hope that you people might have noted it down so that was all about 3.1 situation conversation and these kind of dialogues will be there two situations will be given to you and you people are going to write two dialogues like this next we people have 3.2 here and this is about impromptu speaking so what is this impromptu speaking so impromptu speaking is nothing but uh, when you people prepare for speech competition usually how it is that uh, you know topics are announced in the beginning okay. then you people choose a topic then you find some information about that topic and then uh, you prepare it you just practice it you rehearse it and then you give your speech but impromptu speaking or speech it is also called extempore speech also here you do not follow these kind of things here impromptu speech is means that on the spot So people will not get topic earlier for preparation okay so people will get topic on the spot maybe for example i can ask anybody to come here and i will give one topic and you people have to speak on the topic so that speech will be impromptu speaking so you have not prepared for it but based on your earlier knowledge earlier reading earlier understanding your whatever the uh, earlier experiences are there based on that you are going to give a speech 
you are going to talk that will be extempus h okay so it says what is an impromptu speaking or speech or extempus speech it says the term used for a non formally prepared speech i just told you that you do not get time or it is not a declarer your topic is not declared earlier that which topic you people have to speak need to use the knowledge that you have and use a strong delivery so what is strong delivery in that whatever the knowledge you have based on that you are going to express it you are going to deliver it in effective way a speech or anything spoken without preparation without preparation is on the spot also known as spontaneous speaking or impromptu speech the topic is given on the spot at the time of speech helps you think and develop presence of mind so what is use of this kind of speech why it is given to you people because it helps you to think because when you people get topic on the spot you start connecting your ideas whatever you are maybe you have you might have read one book it might be related that you met one person and you had a discussion on this topic it might be about that you watched some audio video something like this so your thinking will start in that direction and it develops your presence of mind so what is presence of mind agar zababi padna okay so immediately you are able to reply react respond so that will be developed many of the times if such things happen we are usually any uh, without any response or we just stand still we don't say anything but it will not happen your presence of mind will be developed so uh, extempus speech tests the candidate on the following so which things are tested so first of all it says ability to think of the fit so what is the ability to think of the fit so of the fit means apart from if you can call it out of the box also usually we have a regular kind of thinking but sometimes like this if you get some new topic in you to speak about that will be a different way so that is out of the fit presence of mind just we people talked about that you are able to think on the spot and your mind will give you ideas then you people will be able to present it analysis of the topic and identification of the issue to be addressed so when topic is announced you people will immediately start thinking about what topic is given you people will start analyzing that topic you people will also start identification which issue is there in that topic this way you people will start thinking about that topic next is idea generation so once you understood what topic is given you start preparing your ideas ideas in the sense points for example topic is given so 1 2 3 4 Maybe whatever number is are there, so people are going to create, generate your own ideas, points about this topic. The next is prioritization and sequencing to display logical thinking. So, what is this prioritization or sequencing? What is this prioritization? So, suppose this five points you people just took out. but it may not be as per the same sequence first of all it may be this point you wanted to get take in the beginning later on second can be this one you may go for third one here and you are going to present this conclusion as a conclusion at the end so this is called prioritizing and sequencing ability to connect with the panel so who is panel here when you people are going to give your speech there are other people who are going to observe you they are going to maybe give some credits or marks to you that is ability to connect with the panel and how you can connect with panel you are going to use your other skills non verbal communication body language eye contact these are the some of the skills with that you people can connect with the audience or panel or you people are going to maybe uh, present your information very promptly this way you can connect with the panel communication skills i think that in the beginning i have told you whatever it may be the scenario whatever may be the case wherever may be the uh, field or whatever may be the situation that you are going to choose maybe uh, private job government job public sector 
maybe business whatever you are going to choose in the future the people have to think about your communication skills that has to be strong communication skills and on the other hand if you have poor communication skills the people have to face lots of problems or trouble difficulties you may miss many opportunities also so therefore you people this everyone take note of this that you are going to work on your communication skills and you are going to make it strong let it be your strength english communication should be your strength and you people have plenty of time it is not like this that tomorrow you people are going to start uh, maybe any job or something like this so with the time you people can uh, maybe within one semester one year second year you people can work on this and then here is oral presentation so depending upon how and uh, what information you are going to present you are presenting skills your voice tone uh, maybe you are asking questions and everything will come here in presentation skills so presentation skills are also important in impromptu speaking the next is mental preparation so you people need to be mentally prepared if suppose that you are not mentally prepared you may not be able to give the speech because you may think that i don't know how to give that impromptu speaking and like this then it will be a block it will be a barrier it will be an obstacle that you people are going to face it the next is understanding the audience so when you people are going to think of the audience for audience those people who are going to listen you they are going to be your audience so you people think of them try to understand what are their needs and then uh, what they are expecting ask some questions like this handling mental blocks smartly if you are mentally not prepared or there is thoughts like this i cannot speak publicly so these are your thinking only so that has to be clearly you have to make them clear uh, then uh, you need to go through remember here things to remember quick mental thought process that is you have to work on it because you not get much time to prepare about it then keep the pace equal from the beginning to closing it should not be that in the beginning you were very impressive but in the middle or at the closing you are not able to do it uh, practice for a minute again you not get much time but what your time you are going to get out of that some one or half second uh, half minute you people can use for practicing what you are going to say and how you are going to say keep it very short because uh, you want to just present it for the understanding of the people so always remember it has to be short and it has to be simple so some topics for example speech so people can think of them social media is making us unsocial our scores a good measures measure of intelligence make in india versus make for india globalization the significance of a person's handwriting rural development challenges of indian democracy need of communication in english english grammar and interview so immediately if you are about to speak about this topic just think whether you are ready can you speak or not so maybe i have made it uh, maybe uh, uh, these topics i have given to you but again you just find some information about this topic and you can just think okay i think that time is up we'll take the attendance and we'll close it here if you have any questions on any of the topics you can just ask me so roll number 1 Two, three, yes, four, sir. six, seven, eight, eleven. So number eleven absent. Fourteen, sixteen, sixteen absent. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. 
53, 54, 55, 57, 59, 63. So option numbers are 11, 16, 21, 38, 39, 42, 43, 49. 54 57 59 and 63 okay fine so with this we'll stop here i will end this meeting for all